First of all, put in the context that I'm 18 years old. The rash I had on my leg, I'll just throw it up here, the outside of the ring, it was large um, and it was irregular in shape. So it wasn't like you see some photos that are real pretty, you know, like a circle and then a pretty little bullseye. Mine was probably about as wide as my fingers on the outside ring and then the inside circle was rather large. So I'm just, I may, I don't have a photo of it. I'm assuming that it was a bullseye rash. The doctor tried to treat it with hydrocortisone cream and that didn't work. <laughs> and so, you know, that combined with the kind of classic flu-like symptoms, like consider chronic diarrhea, flu-like flu -like symptom. I, if, if I had fevers, I probably ignored them. I had things to do, so <laughs> I'm a, or, well, I still am a real active go-getter person. Like we were doing something yesterday and my husband had to come get me. He's like, you need to stop now. Like, I have to have people help me know when to stop or overdo it and end up in bed for a couple days. He told me today before I left, it was like, don't overdo it. <laughs> so, have to be a little careful. They lasted about six months, and I did go back to the doctor several times because I was obviously still sick, and the doctors I saw at the time, you know, clearly, in my, opi in my opinion, I don't know what they did, but in my opinion, they didn't take it seriously. They didn't try to research anything about it. They're just like, oh, we don't know what this is, and we don't care. <laughs> And since it went away, eventually I stopped pursuing it. The, eventually the rash faded, um, the flu-like symptoms abated, and then I never, when I, when I got sick f after the car accident, and I, I mean, I can't even say definitively that was related to Lyme, but I, in hindsight, can definitely believe that since it was an injury that brought that flare on, an injury that brought this flare on felt pretty similar. One of the advantages was at that time and working with that doctor, I really learned how to eat a diet, a li I'll call it a lime safe diet, you know, no sugar, no alcohol, lots of um, good fruit, you know, vegetables really, um, no sugar, but you know, she let me have more honey and things like that. I'm not hypoglycemic, I can handle some things like raw honey and maybe some things other people can't, but I can tell what's going to work and what's not. And it, But one advantage there, so I just pretty much ate that way my whole life, and I'd have people tell me, oh, you're so disciplined. I'm like, it's not about being, it. yes, but it's not about being disciplined. It's about if I don't eat this way, I don't feel well. And now we probably know why. Because if you eat in a certain way, it doesn't feed the bacteria, and so they're not multiplying. <laughs>